now wh when we look at um building local content now um there seems to be a huge deficit here uh, considering the fact that uh, a, a comedy went viral by a federal government official when uh, they boasted about the capacity of Nigerians to produce pencils now. And that, that, that kind of depicts the distance in which Nigeria finds itself in terms of production and industrialization. So is the National Directorate of Employment thinking about increasing the manpower capacity along the line of manufacturing. Yeah, you see, to be frank with you, it's always good to say it the way it is. You know, NDE has been in existence for the past 32 years. Within that 32 years of existence, we gave out loans mm. of over 3.5 billion. As I'm mm. talking to you, what has been recovered is less than 10%. What we recover is just 248 million out of 3.5 billion because some people see it as national cake. 3.8 million? 3.5 billion, 5 billion was given within the 32 years and of existence. What was recovered? 248 million. 248 people million. People are not paying. And so out of th this. That, that, that means we, we have about over 2 billion. 3 billion. Over 3 billion. Not paid. Not unpaid? Yes. And, and, I, the, and the and the and NDE is still functioning, and they, they left all these people. So th th does that not indicate a kind of complicity on the part of some NDE staff? No, let me tell you something. Some of them deposited original copies of their credentials as collateral, but yet mm. they defaulted. Hmm? When we came in, we came in with a new template. We structured our loan recovery unit to see how we can recover these loans. And I tell you one thing, out of this 248 million that was recovered, 90% of those that paid their loans are the ones that enjoy small loans, between 50,000 to 100,000. And out of this 90,000 that paid, 80,000 of them are women. Isn't that a compelling fact that the NDE now needs to look at how it can invest on bankable ventures uh, like investing in small scale businesses and particularly the one being owned by women. And as a matter of fact, uh, women have a sizable population. Yep. And like the saying, when you train a woman, you train a nation. So is NDE rechanneling its strategy in this direction? Yeah. You see, under REP, Rural Employment Promotion, as a department, we are targeting rural women because we believe as far as issue of poverty and unemployment is concerned, if we are able to handle the periphery, it is very easy for us to control the center. And if you go back to our rural areas, you realize that some of our mothers, their capital is no more than 5,000. So by the time we come in, encourage them to form small cooperative societies, maybe uh, 20 in a village, mm. 20,000 naira each to each one of them, and we mop about five other beneficiaries and we tell them that, look, it is only when they pay, then you'll benefit. It is much easier for us. In fact, we don't need to push anybody. But when you're pursue. giving out this loan, yes. uh, do, 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 you, do you support them with, uh, with a business model to follow, considering the very uh, high ambivalence and unpredictable nature of the business environment we find ourselves in? Because we, we, we see a lot of people invest hugely into businesses and uh, at the end of the day nothing to show for it because of the harsh business environment and probably because um the the knowledge of that business is is still not sufficient you see most of them they already have their existing businesses and under ssce small scale enterprise as a department also mm. we have a program called start your own business and BBT, basic business training. Mm. So we normally advise them on how to go about handling their business so that they can be successful. We have that. Before we give out a loan to anybody, no matter how small, we have to give him directions on how to manage his business successfully. We, we, we have that program in place. Just to set the record straight, um, does the NDA in, um, the, take time to do a cost-benefit analysis of whatever business uh, a prospective investor 
or an entrepreneur is about establishing. For instance, I, I want to invest on poetry, and I should be able to say, after six months, going by this business model, employing perhaps three to four uh, laborers and renting a plot of land should cost me so, so, so and so amount. I should be able to say in the, in the next six months or in the next one year, I should have been able to recoup my investment. And in the next maybe one and a half years, I should start making profits. And even having a growth plan of that business and expansion strategy for the business. Does the ND have a template for this business model? Do they follow up? Do they monitor some of these investments? Yeah, we do. Uh, for example, if you take the southwestern part of this country, we realize that for you to get a land of hectare, one hectare of land, on rent, clearing, planting, up to the time of harvest, for maize, mm. it's about 100,000. Mm. But after you harvested, the profit margin is about 140 to 160. Mm. We engage some young men, and I'm telling you, they are doing great. There was somebody who started with one hectare, now he's cultivating about 10 hectares. We don't have problem with them. 